Uh, I'm a community organizer from Texas, and for the last five years, my community and I have been fighting to stop the proposed Rio Grande LNG export terminal and two other LNG export terminals. Uh, my family has lived in this region since before it was part of the United States, um, and this project would completely would be a catastrophe for our community. We don't have a massive fossil fuel industry. This would be the first wave of a polluting industry coming into our community and completely disrupting our way of life. My community and I, um, we're fighting to stop Rio Grande LNG and the other two terminals because it would be the biggest polluter in our community. It would be highly destructive for the climate. It would be in the middle of an important wildlife corridor uh, and threatening local species with extinction and would also destroy uh, pristine lands that are sacred to the Cariso Comaguro tribe. In our community, there are fishermen and shrimpers. That is our way of life. LNG would completely disrupt our way of life. Uh, I learned about this issue from my family members, from watching the local news, and hearing uh, other people uh, that were concerned about the projects. Uh, in my community and um, they started organizing meetings and then I got involved um, as a volunteer and have been working on this issue um, since 2015 and we've been having community meetings, we talk to reporters, we do presentations, we've been meeting activists in Europe um, and spreading awareness um, about uh, the destruction that they would cause. And we've done all kinds of creative events. Like uh, we've been in parades and have banners. Um, we're trying to stop the permits. Um, so a lot of different strategies over the last five years. I'm here uh, to directly confront Societe Generale. Uh, myself and the chief of the Cariso Comacurudo tribe met with bank officials uh, in 2017 and they uh, pretended to listen to us but they haven't taken action on LNG so I'm here to directly confront them again and demand that they withdraw from this destructive project. Societe General should not be allowed to bankroll a project that would be destructive for the climate and that communities are completely against.